Get down the inside. He's still there though. We should get a run down the straight. Hello guys, welcome to the next round of our Assetto Corsa Competizione Championship Series. We're at a very dark Suzuka today for a first nighttime race we've done in this series actually. So it's going to be interesting to see how things play out. Didn't do the best qualifying today. Managed only to put the car in ninth position. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Hopefully we can battle our way through a couple of cars today. Not the strongest track in the world for me, but not the weakest either. So. Hopefully we can gain a couple of positions. As always, a big thank you to Acetech Sim Sports for sponsoring today's video. They're uh, increasing the number of products in their range in the future. So there is going to be some new stuff coming to the ecosystem, hopefully very soon. And we'll of course be checking all that out on the channel soon. We're running the Invector pedals on the rig right now. And we did the review on those just a little while ago. So whole ecosystem coming to sim racing. Very exciting times. Thank you once again to them for sponsoring today's video. Now, another thing I wanted to mention as well before we get underway here is a lot of people have been asking about racing in iRacing again. Now, the reason why I stopped doing that was simply because when we had the flood happen and everything a couple of months back, I was just so busy with everything that was going on and I wanted to prioritize this series. The good news is everything is pretty much under control now with all of that. And I'm planning on getting some racing videos done again to coincide with the start of the next season in iRacing. So expect to see some iRacing stuff coming up very soon. And uh, yeah, we'll be racing up against some real life people again too, which is something I'm excited to do again after about three months hiatus. So we'll see how we go, but let's concentrate on the launch here now. Try to get the best launch we possibly can here. The dirty side of the track here, very much in the marbles. You can hear them spraying up in the uh, in the wheel arches. Tire temperatures very low as well. So, all right, let's go. Ninth position at the moment. With the Lambo moving across. Oh, BMW sweeping into. Oh, don't know how I stayed out of that one. Leaving space. Okay. Oh, big twitch. Cold tires. Somehow managed to keep clean. All right, now let's see what the pace is like. Moving around a lot. Thought about it. So we're up to eight. We managed to gain one position through all that chaos. Got to get some heat into these tires. I'm feeling like maybe I'm running my pressures just a little bit too low again. Again, we only get that half hour to set our uh, to set our car set up and everything. So half hour practice session, 15 minute qualifying. Car on the left. Get down the inside. He's still there though. We should get a run down the straight. Okay, we're good. Got him. All right, let's get after this BMW. Yeah, as I was saying, only half hour practice session. So i have got to get all my car set up, all my familiarity and everything done in that space. Oh, a little late on the apex. Oh man, overdriving, come on.
The setup is a little loose as well. We're running a little bit too much rear sway bar maybe. up to temperature now. Okay. Hopefully they hold each other up a little bit and create an opportunity. racing <laughs> I just haven't had many opportunities to do any proper racing for so long I've been doing the uh, fortnightly ACC races like this one but that's pretty much it so really looking forward to getting back into it more now things are calmed down a little bit with life in general It's amazing how quickly you do get rusty when you're not playing as often as you would like to. I can catch these guys. We can do this. Little bit keen on the curb there. Ride height is very low, so it unsettles the car easily. Oh, we're getting closer. Get them both in one move, maybe. I doubt it. The car is just very tail happy on turn in. Again there, had to make a little micro-correction. Alright, let's do this. Get in the middle of this sandwich. Definitely lost some time. Only point one up on my best, but felt slower than that. A little bit nervous about getting involved in this battle in the middle, but we'll see how we do. Get on the power early. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get him into the chicane. A little bit more grip that time. Nah, not quite. Would have been a big dive bomb. Getting closer. 0.35 up on my best lap now. Send it into the chicane maybe. Out of the right. And it turned in, come on. Leave some space. <laughs> Tuck him behind again. Almost had him. Go to the outside, which will become the inside. Got him, all right. Woo! Had to work for that one. Jeez. He's right with me still. back though up to sixth okay get after the next one wasn't expecting the uh the move there. <laughs> Whoop, double shifted there. And still moving around quite a bit. The right hand side tires are still a little low on pressure. Lesson learned for next time. A little bit aggressive there with the curve, got away with it though. Catch this next group. I don't know if we'll be able to. Oh, on 
the steer, come on. Yeah, really not happy with this setup. It's fast when it works, but it's not confidence inspiring at all. Six might be the best we can do, I think. Whoa. It's a really quick laps now if we've got any chance. That lap was 0.6 slower than my best, so. Not good enough. Four minutes to go. A lot can happen in four minutes. This way of maintaining the gap behind. just have zero confidence in the car today. I don't know whether it's just because I'm rusty or what's going on, but I just, I don't feel confident in what the back end's doing. I'm constantly second guessing myself and not carrying as much speed as I want to mid corner simply because I'm scared of it snapping on me.
So no, I don't want to increase the traction control anymore because it's not, like it's moving around on me, but it's not so much that I can't control it. Like when it does let go, I can bring it back, but yeah. Coming into the final lap. So I'm here to be in. <laughs> Whoops. Definitely just do not have the pace today. feeling when qualifying didn't go my way that it might be indicative of a bigger problem rather than just a bad qualifying session. But with, uh, yeah, not having much time to practice recently, it's definitely taken its toll. So I'm keen to get behind the wheel a whole bunch more over the coming weeks, as I said. Get back into some eye racing as well. Still a fun race though. Shame we weren't battling at the front, but... You're not going to have that every single race, are you? Sometimes that's the way it goes. But still, ninth to six. Got to be pretty happy with that. Let's get across the line. And we can get in and have a look at those results. So we ended up seven seconds behind the leader there. Not the best. It was a what was that almost a uh, almost a five six second gap to the car in front of me as well. So not the best, but not the worst. We still gained a couple of spots. Let's uh, let's jump in now and have a look at the uh, the championship standings. So championship standing wise, we are still on top of the tables here with 88 points, second place with 79 points, definitely closing that gap that we can't afford too many more races where we're not in the podium positions. So thank you very much for watching guys. The next race is going to be at Zandvoort, which is a circuit that I have almost zero experience with. So that is definitely going to be a steep learning curve. So I'll see you again for that one. As I mentioned before, we will be doing some iRacing content too. Probably see some of that before the next ACC video comes out. So make sure you're subbed if you aren't already for heaps of interesting racing content, as well as a bunch of upcoming reviews. We've got a huge backlog of stuff at the moment that we're working our way through. So there's a bunch of content coming throughout the next month or so. So stay tuned for that. Thanks very much guys and I will see you again soon. Bye.